Hey everyone, Ellery the Health Adventurer here. Welcome to the kitchen. Today we're going to be making some raw heirloom tomato soup and I'm going to start off with a recipe um, that I've done a couple of times before and then I'm going to make, um, after that I'm going to add some things that I haven't tried uh, to see if uh, I like them and also kind of to reduce the acidity for myself. Um, I've been trying to reduce a little bit of the acidity in my diet because I was doing all fruit for a while and my teeth need a break so I'm going to try and possibly add some coconut here. I was going to do avocado but they didn't have uh, any ripe ones at the store so I had lots of coconut so I thought I might try adding that so we'll see how that tastes. Um, but the first four main ingredients that I want to use are we've got f five heirloom tomatoes so these are um, these are really good and very very tasty um, so and then I've got uh, an orange here so I'm gonna put an orange for a little tang and then a little bit of lemon so I'm gonna do uh, half a lemon the juice of half a lemon and then I've got a little piece of ginger over there a little extra kick and some anti-inflammatory properties and then um, sometimes what I like to do with my supplements, I do like to supplement my diet. Um, I like to put uh, supplements into my food, so I'm gonna add some calcium into my soup. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that in, open the capsules. Um, I'm thinking of putting this in here too, this uh, wheatgrass, I'm not sure. Um, just It might make it a little more earthy tasting. Um, so that's the new addition I might try, but like I said, I'm going to give you guys the first version of this recipe that I know for sure tastes really, really good, and then after that I'm going to try these new additions that I haven't tried before. So sometimes you got to do a little bit of experimenting, right? Okay, and so then here we've got my uh, lemon juicer here, or squeezer, and then knife to cut the tomatoes. I um, haven't cut those yet. And that was my coconut. I already got the coconut out of there. And I got my Vitamix blender over here. So this does a really good job. And I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera and uh, you guys can be off to the side while I'm uh, doing a little bit of chopping. Hey everybody, good to see you all. Thank you for coming back to the channel. Alright, so I'm going to set you guys over here and I'm going to do some uh, some chopping. Okay. Hi everybody. Alright, so I already washed and cleaned everything, so that makes it pretty easy. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and, um, like I said, I'm going to try it with this coconut. I really wanted to do avocado, because um, I know, like, my boyfriend has added avocado into his um, raw tomato soup that I made for him before and it's tasted pretty good and um, you know everything I'm doing here too it's you know these this is just a basic recipe you can always make modifications um, I've made raw tomato soups that have um, you know some basil maybe instead of the ginger some other spices maybe some sage some oregano some thyme um, so, and instead of orange, I've used mango, so I actually have some mango in the fridge if I wanted to use mango instead. Um, so that's the thing, you know, that's, that's what makes, um, I don't know if I could really call this cooking because it's not actually cooking, we're keeping everything raw, so it's keeping all those enzymes, we're not, um, you know, destroying them with heat. Um, so yeah, but that's the fun thing about cooking is, you know, just making things it, uh, yourself and kind of doing a little bit of a trial and error. And it takes a little bit of practice, you know, to see like how much, to kind of have an intuition as to how much of this or that to put into something. Um, so that's just, that just takes time. But, you know, it's, I think it's more fun than just following a recipe exactly, you know. Welcome to my chat over here. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, and again, if you're just joining me right now, my name is Ellery. I am the health adventurer. 
and uh, we are making a raw heirloom tomato soup. And as I was saying just now, like I was saying, you know, modifying recipes, that's, it's always a good thing to do because then you can make, use the same ingredients, um, you know, similar ingredients, I guess I should say, on a day-to-day -day basis, and uh, it's a little bit different every day, so that's, that's good. Gotta keep, keep, uh, keep things fresh. <laughs> Okay, so I'm almost done um, chopping up some tomatoes here. I just have one more to throw into my blender. And then I'm going to have uh, my boyfriend Joseph, he's going to do a little taste test for you guys. So I think he's looking forward to that. Right now I think he's working on a smoothie that he made for himself. So, um, yeah, I've, uh, let's see. I haven't made a lot of, of, of soups yet, but this one, I think out of all the tomato soups that I've made so far, this one was really the best. I, I really like it. I really like the ginger in there. And um, when I blend this too, so I've got a, a really powerful Vitamix blender. Um, this is, I can't remember exactly which series this is, but it is one of the I'm, I'm actually, I don't think you can buy this one at Bed Bath & Beyond, they actually don't have that one. Um, so uh, this one though, I think it's just kind of like the next level up. But what I can do with this is I can turn it on high and I'm not going to add any water. Um, you can, you know, if you like a consistency, a little bit more watery kind of consistency, um, you can definitely add water to, to the blender and especially if you have you know, if you don't have a really strong, high-powered blender, um, adding water might be beneficial to do that. So I'm just peeling my orange. I may end up with some uh, orange seeds in there, but that's all right. Seeds are good for us, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna do this. Mmm, this smells so good, so fresh. Citrus is so good. It's very refreshing. It's uh, it's very good with detoxifying. Actually, um, the more kind of citrusy fruits tend to be a little bit more uh, detoxifying for the body. So that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this little white piece out of the middle, and I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this in the blender. Well, okay, so I'm just going to use half of this lemon for the lemon juice. So I'm going to cut it in half. It's a little hard. I may have to get a different one. Let's see. I've had this lemon for a little bit. I'm kind of imagining that I didn't think this would be hard. But okay, I'm just going to pull the seeds out just so that they don't end up in my soup on accident, because that does happen sometimes. <laughs> Hello, welcome, welcome to the kitchen. So I'm just finishing up adding my, uh, well, at least the last ingredient that I know for sure, um, oh, besides the ginger. Okay, here's a little piece of ginger, so you can see the size here, about how much I'm gonna put in there. Um, so I have two, I'm gonna be doing two different versions, basically, of this recipe right now. Um, the first one is gonna be like I was saying before, um, but for those of you just joining me right now, um, I just want to let you fill you in. But I, uh, the first recipe is one that I know for sure tastes amazing, tastes great. I've had it many times, and um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add a couple things after that that I haven't tried before, <laughs> and um, hopefully that turns out really good. Hopefully I won't ruin my my soup, <laughs> but I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, you know, cooking and everything is all about experimentation, so that's what I'm going to do. And uh, my boyfriend's going to be the lucky taste tester. So, um, so just so you guys know, so I, my little lemon juice thing, it doesn't get all the juice out, so I just hand squeeze the rest out of it. So I'm just squeezing this into my blender here. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with that, but I could squeeze a little more out. Okay. Alrighty, guys. So, 
those are the, I'll show you the blender. Give me just a second, I have to rinse my lemony hands off. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the blender before I blend this up first. Okay, here we go. So that is five heirloom tomatoes, one orange, and we've got half a lemon, lemon juice, and one piece of ginger. So very, very simple, very easy. Um, you know, this is a pretty big blender, so this can contain all this. Um, so I definitely recommend if, if you're going to do this much, you know, you have this size of a blender. If you have something smaller, you can half the, the recipe. So this I know is for sure going to be good. I'm going to let my boyfriend try it this way first, and then I'm going to have him compare to, I'm going to add some coconut. So I was telling you guys earlier, I was going to try and see if I can make it a little less acidic uh, for myself because I'm going to give my teeth a little bit of a break from some of the acidity. I've been eating tons of fruit, so that should help me out. And then I might even add some wheatgrass for some minerals and uh, some calcium. I like to, uh, the calcium doesn't really have a taste, so that's not really a risk. It's more of the wheatgrass that I don't know if it'll go with it or not, so I might just try one at a time. So here we go, I'm gonna blend this up. This is gonna get a little bit loud. I'm gonna put the cap on first. So turn your volume down, you guys, because this is gonna get loud. Because I'm gonna turn this all the way up. I didn't put any water in this. And this blender, because it's so powerful, doesn't need it. So here we go. I'm going to, I'll start around seven and then I might bump it up to 10. So here we go. I just want to make sure my my uh, my ginger, sorry, not turmeric. I didn't put turmeric in this. I put ginger in this. Um, I wanted to make sure that was pretty blended, because um, otherwise, um, you know, I'd, I don't really like all those little chunks of ginger in there. Okay, so I'm gonna give my boyfriend a little taste test, see what he thinks of this. I guess I got my bowl ready over here. Taste test. Yep, he heard the words taste test, and he's he's awake. All right, so I'm just gonna do a small amount in there because I want to save the rest to try with the uh, with this coconut over here. Okay, so you're gonna grab a spoon. I guess here's my I successfully bent this spoon, getting the uh, coconut out of there. All right, Joseph. Yes. He is so happy. <laughs> okay, let me know how it tastes. It tastes a little different every time I make it usually. Mm. It's good? Mm -hmm. How's the taste compared to other times you've had it? Softer. Softer? Yeah. So maybe, do you, would, would you prefer more ginger or you like it's it? More it's more I, subtle. It's more subtle. I like both ways, but mm -hmm. I, I guess I like it when it's more strong, like the ginger. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, is there so is there more avocado this time, or did you put? I didn't put I didn't put avocado. I oh, was going to. I didn't put coconut yet. I oh, was yeah, going to okay. add some, but maybe if uh, maybe if if it's a little bit softer right now, it's probably going to get even softer when I put the coconut in. So maybe I should add a little bit more. It does taste good though. It does taste good? Yeah, it tastes good like it is. Okay. It's just not real strong. You know how when you made it before, it was stronger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all. I mean, it's just a different. You might like it more. Yeah. It, yeah, you should try it. Sometimes I do like it a little softer, personally, with uh, less. I think I will go ahead and try some. Mmm. <laughs> it's good. He's he's loving it. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna t do a little quick test of this myself to see if I like how it is. It is good. I see what he means. I don't know. I think it's actually, it might even be the orange this time. Might have made it a little bit softer for some reason. So I've done mango before. I usually actually use mango in this and it's really good. 
it is good though it's very it is very subtle okay so I'm gonna try adding a couple things to it now this time and uh, see how this tastes so I'm gonna start with the coconut and I think the way that I'm gonna do it with the uh, wheatgrass because like I was saying it's a little bit of a risk to do it um, I'm gonna add it just in a small you know just like in a bowl like that I'll just mix a little bit in there and just I don't want to ruin the flavor so I'll see how that goes um, but first I'm gonna add the coconut so here we go okay so I'm gonna start with half of this so I'm gonna put this in here and that should be the blender should be able to handle this so I'm gonna put about half okay so let's see here I'm gonna flip the camera okay I'm gonna set this down so I can uh, multitask over here Sorry if the stream got a little bit interrupted there. I accidentally opened uh, Twitter by mistake. I had a little notification pop up. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna blend this up again. So remember, turn your volume down. If you're watching, I'm gonna turn this up to about seven right now. coconut flakes look a little bit um, you know they look pretty fine I don't see too many chunks and stuff I, I want it really fine so I just stopped it there it looks like it was about 50 seconds and I'm gonna give this a taste test I'm just going to uh, dip right in with my spoon this time Ooh, look at that wow okay so it's a little thicker now with the coconut You want, wow, you know what, it's, I actually don't even really notice much difference. So that is very interesting. I want to make sure that the uh, coconut didn't get stuck at the bottom. But there's no... It may just be that it's really... Yeah, there's no, there's no coconut stuck at the bottom, so it's just, it's very, very subtle. Um, I guess the key of today is subtle. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more... Um, got the other half, so I'm putting that right in here. So maybe now adding the second half, maybe I'll taste a little bit more. So that was one whole coconut, I think almost, maybe it wasn't quite the whole coconut, but it was quite a lot, most of the coconut, at least 75% of it. So let's see if I can get this on with one hand here. Okay, so here we go. And ready for the noise. Turn your volume down. Okay, here we go. piece of coconut that got stuck there okay so I'm, I like to take this off of the uh, the blender when I'm taste testing and everything just in case there were ever to be some sort of electronic failure or if I were to hit a button or something I don't want it on there so okay so I'm gonna taste a little bit yeah it's very very subtle 
Yeah, I don't notice a huge difference, but I do taste it. It is good. Yeah, it's definitely good. It's going to be more filling, definitely, with the coconut. Um, yeah, okay. So that, that does work. All right, so now I'm going to try and see how this goes with the amazing trio. Um, we'll see if this works or not. So I'm trying to think how we'll do this. Uh, we've got one hand on the camera, one hand on the food here. All right, here we go. So I'm going to do a little test. And I don't know if I'm going to get the proportions correct here. But I'm just going to try a little bit. I feel like it's going to add kind of a nice taste to it, actually. I don't normally like wheatgrass, like just by itself, but I feel like it will give it a little bit of something else. So let's see here. I'm going to mix it in just like this. Let's see if this. As long as it doesn't ruin my smoothie, or my smoothie, it's basically a smoothie, but my soup is good. And I like those extra minerals that are in here. Okay. Yeah, definitely doesn't seem to ruin anything. The tomato is really, I mean, <clears throat> even going to add a little more just in case. I don't have my ratio right, but I think this is going to be just fine. Just fine. Ooh, has uh, got all this good stuff. <laughs> okay, so this is probably way more than I'm gonna add, but yeah. So you know what? It does taste pretty good in there. I do kind of like that. So I'm not gonna add this much. That might be a little bit too much, but I do like that mixture. So I'm gonna add a little bit of. I may even do two scoops. I'm not sure. I'll start with one scoop of wheatgrass. So this is going to be super healthy, you guys. And I don't want to forget also my uh, my raw calcium. <clears throat> my raw calcium. Oh my gosh. I, I think I need some uh, some water. Okay. So I did not. Uh, let's see. Plan on how to do this here. You know what? I'm going to set the camera down. Give me just a second. Okay, so you guys will go over there for now. Okay, so I'm just going to add, so I'm going to open these up. These are my raw calcium, uh, this is my raw calcium supplement. So yeah, I like to take my supplements with my food, or in, mix in my food, just because for one, you know, I like not using the capsules, even though they're vegetarian capsules and everything. Um, there we go, so just pop that off in there. Um, just because it, it kind of makes it a little bit, it hits your body a little more evenly um, since you're not just taking it all at once. So I kind of like that. Um, and usually taking supplements with food is, is usually the better way to go. So, um, cause it's supposed, to, it's supposed to get absorbed a little bit better. So um, that's what I'm doing here. That's why I like adding them in here. Okay, so we've got a good old pile of uh, powders on top here. Um, I want to pre-mix this just a little bit. I don't want any of this like getting stuck on the blade or anything and clogging it up. So I'm just gonna, um, you know, I'm just gonna use my spoon here, just to mix it in just a little bit before I blend. I probably don't have to do this, but there have been occasions where the powders just kind of get sucked right to the bottom and they just get stuck on the blade for some reason. So, okay, so I'm going to try it that way. And once again, make sure you turn your volume down, put your earplugs in, whatever you got to do. I got mine in because <laughs> this thing is so loud. Got to protect those precious ears. Okay, here we go. <laughs> It's stuck on the side a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and scrape that with my spoon. So I'm going to 
scrape that off. Definitely don't want to waste it. Don't want it to get stuck there. Okay, I think one scoop is probably gonna be enough for this soup. One scoop of this wheatgrass, and then I think it's probably good to go. Um, just blend it up a little more. Do a pre-taste before I blend. Got a lot of wheatgrass there. <laughs> it was stuck on the spoon. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty good. All right. So let's try this again. Let's see if there's a little more. It's kind of hard to get it all off the side here. Ah, powders can sometimes be a little challenging. Get stuck on the side. Okay. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Gonna blend, you guys. Turn your volume down. this the exact same way the next time from start to finish I'd probably actually start with blending up um, I actually blend everything right away together because the less blending is better um, for the food it's not as oxidized um, just it's it's better to blend less so just a little tip there okay I think that is done that is ready it tastes pretty good Okay, you guys, so I'm going to pour this into, I'm not going to be too picky, I'm just going to pour it on top of the last bit there, I don't want to waste any. Look at that, wow, delicioso, okay, wow. That looks good. Okay, you guys, that is nice and thick. It's airy. It's very good. Kind of fluffy. Okay, let me kind of get this all smoothed out here. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Okay, you guys, it is time for dinner for me. It's a little bit uh, late up here, <laughs> nine after nine o'clock, but this is my dinner. So I'm going to see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you try this recipe or something different like this one, uh, similar but different, let me know. Um, you can also visit my website, thehealthadventure.com. Um, I've been talking about putting this recipe up there for a little bit, I think. But um, I'm going to get it up there soon now for sure that it's uh, on video. Um, but of course, you can always watch this video again and see how to do it. It's super easy. And like I said, those first four ingredients, if you just want to keep it real simple, that's the way to go. And this is good too. This is a new version of it that I just tried. So, and I like it. So, all right, you guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.